Hello, today we will discuss the second part of the seminal analysis. We discussed the gross examination in the first video. Going to the microscopic examination. The semen is examined microscopically for motility, vitality, count and the morphology of the sperms. So going to the motility. So what do we do for the motility? We place a drop of the liquefied semen on a clean glass slide and then place a cover slip on it. Then we examine it under the microscope, first under the low power and then under the high power. Normally, within two hours, we know that more than 60% are vigorously motile and in about 6 to 8 hours, 25 to 40% are motile. So, normally the test of our motility should be done within an hour. So, in uh, need uh, not to give false negative uh, reports. Then going to the grading of the motility. So, we should know that there are four grades. The grade 4 uh, is the strongest of the sperms and they swim fast in a straight line. It is important to know that it swim fast and they go in a straight line. Then grade 2 is a non-linear motility. They also move forward but they tend to travel in a curved or a crooked motion. Then grade 2, they have a non-progressive motility. That means they do not move forward at all but they move their tails and grade 1 is they are immotile and they fail to move at all. Now going to the vitality test. Vitality test is whether the sperms they are alive or they are dead. We will see how much percentage of the sperms are alive and this is assessed by a dye exclusion test. What is dye exclusion test? It, it works on the principle that the cells which are dead, they have a damaged plasma membrane and as the plasma membrane is damaged, it will allow the entry of some membrane impermeant stains. The stains which were not allowed to pass if the plasma membrane was intact but in the dead cell it is damaged. Here the stain which is used is neosin y, eosin y and this is eosin y is the stain and nigrosin is used along with it so as to improve the contrast of the background. So eosin y is red in color and it accumulates in the heads of non-motile sperms or dead sperms. Now going to the uh, interpretation. The live sperm we will know that they are white in color. They will have white or light, light pink hue to the heads whereas the dead sperms will be dark pink or red in color and if the stain we see is limited only in the neck region it is not staining the head region it is uh, considered as a leaky neck syndrome leaky neck membrane and it is not the sign of cell death or total membrane disintegration these are alive sperms this is the example here. The contrast is not as good. So as to improve the contrast, we can add nigrosin so that we can appreciate the pink color of the dead sperms better. Now going to the sperm count. Firstly, knowing what is concentration. Sperm concentration means the measurement of how many million sperms are present in each ml of the fluid. And normally it is more than 60 million per milliliter. It is more than. So it can go to the re, uh, range till 150, 160 even. And what is total sperm count? It is the total number of spermatozoa which are present in the entire ejaculate. So the total sperm count is uh, calculated in the ejaculate whereas the concentrate is uh, calculated per ml of the fluid. Now going to the methods, how we will measure the sperm concentration or count. The chambers used are like Macler's counting chamber but normal uh, hemocytometer that is Neubauer's chamber is more commonly used. Here we will, what we will do is, we will make a dilution of 1 is to 20 in a WBC pipette or any automatic pipette and the diluting fluid is used, it contains sodium bicarbonate, formalin, distilled water. 
Now we'll charge the new bus chamber and we'll allow the spermatozoa to settle down for two minutes and then we'll examine this under microscope. Now we will count the number of spermatozoa in the two large peripheral squares which are used for TLC counting and then we'll calculate uh, the concentration per ml by counting the number of sperms into one leg. Now normal value we know is more than 60 million and the abnormal value is less than 15 million per ml. If any case of infertility is there, so if the sperm concentration is less than 50 million, there are chances that it, the sperms can be abnormal in morphology even. So we can uh, recommend the assessment of the numerical or structural abnormalities. You can look for them also in the chromosomes. Now the terms which are used are aspermia. What do mean by aspermia? It means absence of semen. There is no semen at all. What is azoospermia? It means there is semen but there is total absence of spermatozoa in the semen. Oligozoospermia means there is reduced number of spermatozoa in the semen and is usually less than 15 million per ml. Polyzoospermia is uh, mentioned as increased number of spermatozoa. It's opposite of oligozoospermia and here it is more than 350 million per ml. And teratozoospermia, what do you mean terato? Terato means any morphological defects. So here we mean that the sperms, they are carrying the morphological defects more than the usual. They are present normally also, but here they are more than the usual. Understanding about the morphology, now we know that normal sperm has a oval head, has a long fledgled tail. So the abnormalities can be either in the head or in the tail. If it is present in the head, it will lead to poor ovum penetration. If it is present in the tail, it will lead to poor motility. Now what we will do to see the morphological defects, we will prepare a thin smear of the liquefied semen and then we will stain it with any stain like Romanowski, H&E, Pap stain and observe at least 200 sperms. We will not observe one sperm and say that it is abnormal. We will observe at least 200 spermatozoa. So the morphological defects, what we can see is it can be swollen head, it can be small head, it can has two heads, two tails, pointed uh, head or the mid piece can be longer or the tail can be shorter. Okay, so by looking to the abnormalities, we will uh, do a index. We will calculate an index which is known as Toretto Zeus Permic Index. So what is it? It tells the number of average number of abnormalities present per sperm. Means a number of abnormalities per cell. So each cell is assessed for abnormality and we will score each abnormality. So if a cell sperm has abnormal head and a tail, it is means it has two abnormalities and it is a one cell it is two over one so this is how we will count many cells around 200 we will count and if it the count is more than 1.8 it means it has uh, abnormal or poor sperm fertilizing ability so this was the morphological uh, defects and the microscopy of the semen analysis if you like it please like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and do ask any queries regarding the topic thank you